I often get asked what do I think about the Kanban principle of pursuing evolutionary change. And my answer to that usually is, well, you know what, it depends. Why do I say that? I've been working in change for well over 20 years now. And what I end up believing is that change needs to happen at the pace that the system or the people involved in that change can tolerate. And it's that simple. So if the conditions are right and the people want to do something big change, some revolutionary change, so be it, go for it. Um, however, if those conditions don't exist and it's felt that it's better to do small incremental evolutionary changes, then that's fine. But the key things that need to happen is that people and the environments are ready, willing and able to embark on that change. With that in mind then, as a coach or mentor or consultant, what is my role? Well, one thing that is very, very clear is that it's not my role to decide what the change should be or that any change should happen. What I need to do in some ways is to spot whether those three elements that I said before, being ready, willing and able, converge. And if they converge, then I can help or be an enabler or a guide for the change that, that needs to happen or that people want to happen. But it's not my decision to say this change needs to happen and it happens now and in this type. That's for the people that are involved in the change and in the environment. So when I hear this kind of like hard coding of a preference towards evolutionary change, I frankly feel that that's a bit ill-judged, that it's not correct, and it actually can act as a limiting belief. There are times where we can do big changes and that's okay, and there are times when we should do small changes and that's okay. Um, and frankly, in my career as a, as a coach, some of the best teams that I work with have done pretty big changes in a very, very short span of time. Um, when you think about bringing things like visualization, metrics, better policies, better agreements, um, introducing new ways of working, creating focus and balancing the workload, all those things together can be pretty revolutionary in many environments and in many organizations. So, Sometimes the whole idea about evolutionary change is not really um, even a preference. There, are many, there is enough evidence to say that some of the changes that we try to do can be pretty revolutionary. But the most important is that you have those three elements. That the environment is ready, that the people are willing, and they're also able to do the change. When you get those three, magic can happen, whether it's revolutionary or evolutionary.